Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you some things that I purchased. And um, I'm going to show you what they are and maybe do a little something with one of them. Now these are here two pencil cases that I purchased. I told you I had my eyes on a purple one. So I bought this one. This one has a hundred and I think 68 slots in it. So it's really kind of thick and big. And then this one is 120. And I have yet to put names on these. But these are the ones I like because I can put um, the names across them like I did on whee, these guys. So this is just um, stick on vinyl that I cut out with my Cricut and then I place the name on it so I know what pencils are inside. Also another reason I do that is those are the pencils that I like. They're the ones that get the names. <laughs> so I got a, a green one and a purple one. I have the Shapira Farben in the green one and the um, what are they called? South Sun in the uh, purple one because they hold a lot more. I got two of these sketch pads. They're hard uh, cover and um, they open up. The paper in here is kind of an off-white and I'm going to do um, pencil uh, swatching in these. The covers fold backwards, the paper folds backwards. It's just an easier thing I am thinking for me. There's 80 sheets in here. It's a five and a half inch by eight and a half inch tall. Um, it's 70 weight, uh, 110 GMS paper. So it's kind of a, a, a sturdier paper than what I've been using, I think. And I just thought it would be a little easier for me to do than having it in two different books. So I could have a single book that has all my pencils, all my watercolors. Uh, that includes the ink tents, um, you know, uh, water, neo colors, all that stuff in one book. I'm also going to do the pan pastels in here also. So I have to make a little chart in here. I have to hand draw it. Doesn't kill me to do that, but that's what these are for. And then I got finally a set of pen pastels. I have another one on order, but I got this set first. This is the Extra Dark Shades. Uh, absolutely gorgeous colors, by the way. It comes with a, a little packet. Um, apply pastel color like paint and it has yeah I guess that's all of the colors here that's a lot of colors uh, I don't know if I'll ever get that many <laughs> but I have a few so I think I haven't uh, if I get the next set it's uh, gonna be a nice pile of colors I have it kind of gives you a little information here. How uh, they're mixable, highly pigmented, low dust, um, mixed media friendly, functional packaging. <laughs> they're erasable and they are a unique pan form formula format. So that's what comes with one of these nice big art sponges two of these tools so there's a square tip and a round tip and then each one of these it comes in the box with four of these because there are 20 of them and in the bottom you have other little tools the little round tips for the round one the square tips for the square one a kind of odd shaped blending I think that one's the blender this is a triangle one with these little tiny applicators okay and like I said these colors are absolutely gorgeous let's see on the back of this it'll give you the colors here so we have 
<coughs> yellow, well they're all extra dark, so keep that in mind. So we have the Hatsa yellow, <laughs> Dairy Glide yellow, yellow ochre, orange, uh, permanent red, the red iron oxide, gorgeous, magenta, <laughs> violet, uh, ultramarine, phalo blue, turquoise, phalo green, permanent green, this is the chrome oxide, it's got a scratch on there, bright yellow green, of course it's the extra dark, so that's a really pretty color too, burnt sienna, raw umber, neutral gray, and a natural gray, and Payne's gray. So those are the colors. I can just show you a couple of this. Uh, let's see which one we picked. You kind of have to open these interestingly. They don't all have lids. This is the turquoise extra dark. I'm just going to set that there for a second. This one here, which is absolutely gorgeous, is the phalo green. Pretty, 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 pretty. This one is the permanent green, extra dark. And this one is the chrome oxide green, extra dark. Isn't that pretty color? And this one, I believe, is the... Try to read that. Nope, don't have to open it. Don't want to lose those things. Bright yellow, green, extra dark. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a little piece of paper here. And I'll just take one of these with a tool I have in the other drawer. There we go. And see what we can show you here on that. So this was the light, or bright yellow, green, extra dark. So when you take this, that's the color you're going to get. Yummy. <laughs> I've been wanting this set for a while. So that's the yellow. <laughs> This is the permanent green extra dark. Oh, I'm going to just love these colors. I'm just wiping the tool off on a um, rag on the side. This one is the chrome oxide green extra dark. Oh, these are my colors. <laughs> I'm going to show you one thing you can do with these extra darks. If you have a, um, let's see, I put the blender in the blue one. There we go. Let me get out the colorless blender. So if you have, uh, say, this nice, beautiful, dark oxide and we want to make it a little lighter. Can add a little of the colorless blender and blend that out a little bit when you're coloring with it. And then just add a little bit of the darkness to darken one side. And you can blend all these colors together. That colorless blender is just a must have, I think. It helps move these around the paper so much easier for me. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we have here? Um, this one is the phalo green. Extra dark. And that's kind of got a like a forest green to it that on there and on the top one 
is the turquoise extra dark. Well, that one looks more like a gray to me. Okay, that's that one set. So that's the green set. I'll get out a card for each one of these. We'll go with um, whatever the set is here. Get that off. Start at the bottom. This one is Payne's Gray Extra Dark. Definitely is a Payne's Gray. And then we have Neutral Gray. And that's got a little bit more brown. This one's bluer. Okay, and then this one. Well, they're both neutral to gray, but they have different numbers. Okay, so this is neutral gray one that I put down already. This is neutral gray point two. We will see what this difference is. I have no idea. It looks a little lighter in the um, pastel case by a hair, so I would assume if you're blending these together, you would use those as shadows. Okay, then we have a Burnt Sienna Extra Dark. Oh, that's pretty. And then Raw Umber Extra Dark. Feel silly saying extra dark all the time. It's the extra dark set. It's going to be extra dark. <laughs> okay. The other set I have coming in is what they call the um, true colors. So it's basically these sets but in their true forms not in their shadows shades or lights just the straight up colors okay this one we're going to start off with don't lose all the little thingies phthalo blue extra dark and then just pretty on its own pretty. Next one is um, ultra, I think it's ultra marine blue, but I'll have to read that. It just says ultra blue. Blue, blue, blue. Yep, ultra marine blue extra dark. So this one's got a little more green to it. That one's a little truer blue. Then we have Violet Extra Dark. No, oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, love, 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 love that. <laughs> then we have Magenta Extra Dark. Oh, 
pretty, 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 pretty. This looks like um, the black grape and the um, black raspberry. <laughs> Those are my two favorite colors, if you haven't been able to tell. <clears throat> okay, red oxide extra dark, which if you're looking at it here, kind of looks like a brown. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty too. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Leave these down here. And then the last set we have, I think I'll put on a different little sponge here. We'll use one of these new ones. If anybody has ever wanted to know how you put one of these on, do it very gently so you don't tear it. Just kind of bring it down a little on the tool till you get it down where it's poked to the bottom. Here's our next card. We start down here. And our first color, to put this back on this one, is going to be Permanent Red Extra Dark. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Ooh, on a barn or something. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, orange extra dark. That is orange extra dark. Looks like a brown. Let's see how orangey we get. Not much. That'd be a nice ochre color. Then we have yellow ochre, <laughs> which looks green. So that's yellow ochre extra dark. And this is a uh, dye rail yellow extra dark. Kind of looks like an olive green or gold. That would make a nice gold. And then we have Hence a yellow extra dark. <clears throat> so the yellows, this yellow and this yellow, don't look terribly yellow, but they are extra dark, so. They'll make great leaves. <laughs> Let me get the tops on these. So those are the colors that are in this set. So the grays that go to the grays and then into blues. You can see how much dust I have on here because I did not um, patter these off. So the pattern is still on the card. Yeah, we'll do that. This is just cardstock that I put these on. It's nothing special paper-wise. Just happened to be on my desk. There we go. So, I mean, I love these two colors. That one, this would be great for trees. I can see that working. Those, those colors go together really well along with that one. Leaves. 
and you can get into this set here with leaves too. And then the grays, great for shadows. I mean, this is just going to be a great set for me. I know it's dark shades. It's not for everybody, but for me it is. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's all I have for uh, show and tell today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later, guys, and take care. Bye now.